So I was on the way to work this morning and I saw this mouse in the gutter and it was kind of it was kind of a small mouse and normally that would still make me jump up and run the other way but this mouse actually made me kind of go oh because it was injured or crippled or something I think it had been hurt and then this crow came along and bashed its head in and picked it up and flew away with it and I was like poor little mousy it was just trying to crawl out of the gutter and then crow like took it so I felt sorry for that wee mouse um, it was just trying to do what was right which just goes to show, um, you know, sometimes you do everything you can to get out of the gutter and death gets you anyway. I don't know, is that the moral of the story? It might be. Um, on a cheerier note, uh, before that I was having breakfast and I almost choked to death on my peanut butter. Um, it was this horrible, oily, unsalted peanut butter and it just got lodged in my throat and I like didn't know whether it was going down or whether it was coming up or whether I would be able to breathe ever again and I was just like I don't want to die choking on this peanut butter like, if I'm going to die choking on peanut butter I want it to be like salted peanut butter that I actually like <sighs> which made me realize what Jesus was talking about when he said be the salt of the earth he was like talking about peanuts really um, there's a lot of goodness in peanuts and peanut butter is the ultimate form of peanuts but you don't taste any of that goodness unless there's a little bit of salt so put a little bit of salt in there um, be the salt be the salt would you I mean there's goodness all around you but others may not taste it unless you are the salt that brings it to their attention